Good morning. Whoa, hi. Good morning. Hi. You're so happy. Hi. Oh my goodness, thank you for talking to me. Thank you. Happy Monday, everybody. I am in the mood to do some fall shopping like candles and decorations and cute outfits for Sebastian. So come with us if you want to. We're going to Marshall's first. Were you crying in the store? You didn't want to be shopping with mommy, huh? Yeah, you didn't want to be shopping with mommy. But everything I bought was for you, for the most part. Everything I got is for you, almost. You goofy boy. He cried almost the whole entire time. And we get in the car and put the windows down and he's chilling out now. Oi, babe. We just got home. Oh, let me mute the TV. Sorry. Do you wanna see some of Sebastian's big boy clothes that I got him for school and this fall? So this one's size 12 months. The pants will definitely be probably a little bit too short for him because his legs are so tall but his top is so skinny and small so the 12 month sweatshirt will fit him he might might be able to fit into the sweatpants but probably not those will probably just be like at home not going out so he's not flooding <laughs> but this is the first one and then another jumpsuit 18 months he's gonna be so stylish in school 18 months too, I think. Yeah. This one, Gio's going to love this one because Gio has a sweatshirt really similar. <laughs> and then this one's definitely going to be big on him, but it'll be okay. This one's 24 months. So these, this will last us a very long time. All of these were originally like $65. I got them for 15 if you have not stopped at Marshall's, if you have a Marshall's, if you haven't stopped at one in a long time, you should. Then I got these for me. <laughs> they were at the checkout and they do that on purpose. They're like, I don't know. They put that there and you're like, oh, maybe I need that. I've never had them before. Well, I'm going to try them. This is my favorite part of any ice cream cone. And I just got some new yogurt um, for like a snack. So maybe I'll put like, I could do one or two of these with my yogurt as a treat. Um, and then I got this dog toy for Zeusy. He's going to be excited to see that. Are you laughing at that sound? And then I got this gorgeous extra large candle. That smells amazing to put upstairs in my bathroom. And then I got this for six bucks, this trick-or-treat bucket for when the trick-or-treaters come. I'm going to put all their candy in here. Cute. Not a bad, not a bad trip. This little guy, are you still cranky? Hey, I told everybody you were crying the whole entire time, weren't you? Yeah, you still, I know your ears are hurting you. He has a doctor's appointment for his ears in like two and a half weeks, but I know they're bugging you, I know. Hi. Hi. Hey, come over here. You don't want to see your mama? Hey, you. Hey, you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello? Okay, okay, sorry. What's this? What is this? This is for you. I can't throw with my left hand. Hold on. Sorry. Can you catch it? Catch. Ah, well, almost. Good boy. <laughs> That's my donut. Yum, yum. That's for you. Get it. 
Dance com o boy. Dance com o handsome boy. É tão handsome. É tão handsome. Do you want to go outside too? Huh? You want to go outside too? Who's a pretty girl? Heart all pretty? What do you want to do? You want, your cage is drying outside. What do you think? What happened to your eyeball? Why is your eyeball red? You scratching your eye? You guys see above her? Well, no, she's not going to let me. Come here. I'm right here. Yeah, come here. Can you say love you? Love you. Love you. Can you give kiss? Go girl. That's a go girl. That's a go girl. Got to do some cage cleanup over here. Sebastian's rolling around on the floor. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> I'm over here making more milk for Sebastian because he's out of milky. And he's just crying. Look at these crocodile tears. Yes, I'm going to pick him up and hold him. A lot of people always wonder, like, why is Sebastian always in his chair when we see you filming? To be honest, it's easier to film when he's in one place, when he's, you know, in his chair and when he's still. So that's why a lot of the times whenever you see him, he is in his chair. But I promise he's not always in his chair. Are you okay? I feel like everybody also wonders if he ever has bad days because he's always so smiley and happy. You saw him this morning, just a happy, happy dude. But sometimes emotions take over, right? Yeah, it's okay. I think his ears are really, really bugging him. Hey, I'm right here. I'm right here. What you saying, Nala? What are you doing? Uh. <laughs> you want to get some milk and some dinner, honey? It's okay. Let's get some milk and some dinner. Uh. Oh, are you hungry? Can you show me eat? Do you want to eat right here? Is that what you want? Uh. Yeah. Can you show me? Uh. It's five o'clock, so it's dinner time. Can you show me you want to eat? Can you show me with your hand? No. Can you try? Show me eat. Yeah, I can tell that's what you want. Show me eat. You can do it. Show me eat. Come on, say eat. I want to eat, mama. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Say eat. Yeah, kind of. That's on your cheek. You got to do it on your mouth. Say eat. Remember like this. Eat. Can you show us? You're not going to do it. Can you take your finger out of your eye? I know you're trying to see me. Yeah, eat. I know. Eat. Anything? He's thinking about it. Okay, I'm not going to make you wait. I'm going to go get you something, okay? I'm going to go get you something. I'm not going to lie. Lately, Sebastian has been into um, this, like these little apple pouches. And I know these aren't the most nutritious for him. But listen, he gets all of his calories and all of his fruits and vegetables from his meals. Um, his calories and his nutrition is monitored by a cardiac nutritionist. So between this and then the liquid formula that we give him, the literally the amount of food and the amount of um, like the volume, meaning how much food he gets and how many calories he gets in a day, it's all monitored by um, by the the nutritionist. But so anything extra during the day is just extra calories and extra treats and extra therapy for him. Even just us feeding him by mouth is therapy for Sebastian. It's practice. The other day I made um, chicken tortilla soup. It was very good. As you can see right here, I blended some up and gave that to Sebastian. 
but it seemed like it kind of made him spit up. He was spitting up a lot of it. So there might've been too many, just too many flavors. Too, there was a lot of beans. There's, you know, chicken, sorry, chicken that was seasoned. So he could have just, it didn't sit well in his belly, but he has been loving these little applesauce pouches. And this one is his favorite, fruit and yogurt, peaches and cream. So, so good for him. Well, it's not necessarily that it's good for him, but it's not, it's not bad for him. You know what I mean? It's, it's good. It's good. So we're going to give him some of this. He's very hungry, I can tell. Oh, by the way, everyone, you know, Gio and I, Gio and I are still on our like health journey. So we're trying to make, you know, good choices. We've always made really good choices, but I'm trying like really consciously to lose weight still and make good choices. I just wanted to share. This is the best yogurt on the planet earth you can't convince me otherwise this like this whole entire thing i think is like one one container is one serving size i don't eat the whole thing at once maybe like three dollops of it or whatever but the noosa well, however you say it the vanilla bean flavor i'm telling you guys you need to try it even sebastian likes it but he doesn't do super well with dairy it seems like he also kind of spits up dairy it makes him throw up i have no clue why he might be lactose intolerant. I'm not sure. But this is my favorite. And that's what I was talking about with these little like ice cream bites. Like at night, if I'm wanting something sweet, I don't know. I feel like I could have two little pieces. That wouldn't be that bad. Two little pieces dipped into a couple bites of yogurt. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll let you guys know if it's good. But I already know that it's going to be good. So <laughs> that's all. That's all. Let's go feed my hungry boy. All right, we've got Sir Sebastian here kind of sitting up a little bit more straight. I'm still in the market for a chair that has him positioned up a little bit more sitting up straight. Um, Sebastian doesn't have great, he has like amazing neck and head control, but actually like using his abdomen to like actually support himself, he's still working on that. I'm still trying to find a chair that is the most beneficial to him. Anyway. So he is sitting up a little bit more straight right now, as you can see. I already know that he's super excited for his little applesauce, so I'm gonna give him some. He's looking for it. You want some of this? Open. No, are you sure? Open. There you go. Mmm. It's right here. Yummy. It's <laughs> so good. Yum. Is this what you wanted, honey? You just wanted a snack? Say, yeah, mama, you were doing all that shopping. I got hungry. Yeah, I got hungry. Let me clean ya. Ready? Mm. Oh, sorry, that was kind of a lot. Good job. Yeah, that was a lot, sorry. That's mama's fault. Sorry. Need some more? You, you can't dance in between bites, though. Okay. <laughs> You're spitting it out. Am I giving you too much? Want some more? Mmm, yeah. we love applesauce, huh? That's so good. Wait, <laughs> you thinking about it? You thinking about it? <laughs> yeah, that's delicious. Thank you. Thank you. You guys will be happy to know that I finally reached out to Sebastian's school to schedule his IEP. So we're going to go ahead and set up that meeting and discuss what school day is going to look like for Sebastian. Honestly, he'll probably only go like two days a week for like two or three hours to start off. I, I really can't imagine him being with strangers for much longer than that, but we're going to start somewhere and see how it goes. And that's that. But I did reach out to them, so we should have a date soon on when his IEP meeting is going to be. And then after that, he'll start. You're gonna go to school. I wonder how you're gonna feel about that. Huh? Maybe you're gonna be excited to get a break from mama, huh? 
What do you think? You like your applesauce? Good boy. That's so yummy, Mama. Thank you. It's Monday. Gio gets off early on Monday, so he's on his way home. We're going to show him all of Sebastian's clothes, too. <laughs> Can you show daddy all your big boy clothes? See, mom, I can't wear my pajamas to school. Right? You gotta wear big boy clothes. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. So good. Okay, here you go. So there's like two bites left in here, dude. Hello? Hello? I'm feeding Sebastian. What are you doing? Huh? That's it. That's it. Look at that, guys. The whole thing. I would say that <laughs> took him maybe like five minutes, if that. And he's gonna he's gonna definitely have another one because he's already looking for more. And you want me to go get you another one? Yeah, he's so hungry. He's so hungry, mama. I just gave Sebastian a little bit of medication for his ears. It seems like they're really bothering him tonight. And while we're on the topic of ears, I wanted to just answer um, some confusion. When Sebastian was first born, the doctors can do certain tests and come to certain conclusions. But unfortunately, when you have a newborn, obviously, um, they're not able to communicate if they can see or if they can hear. There are certain tests that you can do where you can register brain waves and see if there's a response to like certain stimuli. But when Sebastian was first born, we were told that there was a possibility that he had no usable hearing or vision. He didn't respond to tracking. His, his pupils didn't dilate a certain way. And both, he failed all of his hearing tests when he was a newborn. So we were under the impression and told so by his doctors that he probably had what appeared to be severely impaired both vision and hearing. He has what's called light perception vision, meaning he can see like lights and shadows. So he can see if something passes him and he can see if there's a change in lighting, but the picture probably isn't very clear. Now, having said that, it's actually very common for people and children with CDLS to develop those skills over time. So the diagnosis that we received when he was a newborn is very different from the one that we received when he was like three and a half, four years old. Like I said, for the longest time, we thought Sebastian had no usable vision or hearing. But after he came home from the hospital originally and he was home with us, we started to see him, you know, following us when we would walk, a pa you know, walk past him in the room. And when we would talk to him, he would laugh as if he could hear or if, you know, a sound would happen, he would respond. So we knew that that was wrong, right? We know that he can see him here. We don't know how much, but we know that he can. So... He has no usable hearing in his right ear. He, he's completely deaf in his right ear. He does, however, have moderate to severe hearing loss on his left side, but what that means is that he still has what they call usable hearing. He can still hear a little bit. A couple years ago, he was a candidate for a cochlear implant. However, upon further testing and an MRI through the ENT at the hospital, the same doctor who's seen Sebastian since he was a newborn, they discovered that the formation and like the growth structure of Sebastian's cochleas inside of his ears are deformed. They're not shaped like a normal cochlea. So unfortunately, implanting an implant into his cochlea, he wasn't a good candidate for There's that. two risks involved with that. The first one is right off the bat, his right ear was not a candidate. He, there's no vision in there. So they, they can't, or I'm sorry, there's no hearing in there. They can't change that. However, him having usable hearing in his left side, technically they could have tried to place an implant. However, because of the structure of his ear and how his ear formed, um, they didn't think it was a good idea. And on top of that, the second risk in doing that when you place an implant, there's always a risk that it can damage any hearing that he has. So unfortunately, we, we just decided that it wasn't a good idea. Placing 
an implant into an area where the structure genetically isn't ideal. He, he, the space in his ear didn't grow and form like a typical ear on the inside. So attempting to plant something in there and the chances of it possibly not working and one risk of that being that it would then ruin and take away any natural hearing that he had just wasn't worth it to us. We didn't want to risk him losing any of his natural hearing, so we just decided with his doctor that he wasn't a good candidate for it. So if anybody was confused on Sebastian's vision or hearing, I hope that helps you. We would have loved to have gotten him a cochlear implant and see if that would have been beneficial to him. Unfortunately, he just wasn't the best candidate. So I hope that helps. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was nice. You want another one? Oh, thank you. That was nice. You supposed to be playing with that tubi? See, this is my extra tubi, Dad. I, Mom said I can hold it. You supposed to be playing with that? No. 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 You're not supposed to be playing with that, huh? Good, my dad. Give me that. <laughs> Nasty. His clothes are over there. But bring him in here. I'm gonna be stylish. Say dad, I'm gonna look like you. Yeah. That one's the biggest one. It's a little too big, yeah, but it's the girl. The rest of them are 18 months. I look like you, look Dad. Like you. you like this one? What you think? He's like, I like my jammies. What you think about this one? Let's see. Let's see which one Bobby likes. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, which one you like? Huh? You want to wear black and red like Daddy? Which one you like? The blue one? <laughs> Good job. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. Let's see. Ooh, it's sexy. You're going to be so handsome. Look at that. <laughs> what do you think about that? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's so cute. That's big boy clothes. And look at that one. <laughs> oh, look at this. That's so cute. That's one, huh? You like that one? Yay! <laughs> Aren't they Basically, cute? Yeah. yeah, they look good. What do you think is all of that? What do you think is all of that? Huh? What do you think is all of that? Oh, cranky dad. Aw, oh, I didn't. Oh, are you so happy? You got your daddy? Yeah, what do you think? See, that's my best friend. That's my bestie. That's my bestie. You want to say goodnight? See, I'm going to snuggle with my dad and then I'm going to go to bed, guys. Yeah, I tell him. <laughs> say, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I tell him. Say bye bye. Say night night. <laughs> say night night. Huh? You want a little kiss? He can't get any closer. <laughs> he tries so hard to get as close as possible. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get any closer. That's my dad. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what a way to end the night. What you saying? <laughs> This is my daddy. <laughs> oh, sweet boy. Take a night, everybody. Mm -hmm. Let me see you later.